What's up guys, Coach T from Condor Baseball Academy. On today's episode of Backyard Baseball, we're gonna be working on some pop-up drills. You don't need a whole lot of space, as you know, and again, it's just little pop-up drills we're gonna work on getting behind the baseball, working through the baseball, coming up, making a good throw. We're also going to be working on how to come up, field a ground ball. We're gonna be working on the do or die where you're trying to save a run. And then we're also gonna break down and drop to a knee and show you those instructions as well. So as you can tell here, we're just working on basic pop-ups and working on calling the baseball nice and loud because if we play how we practice, we want to be practicing the right things. So this can be done in the side yard, a backyard, on the field. You can hit them, you can throw them up. I'm just throwing them up to them right here. Uh, but players, you can also do this on your own if you don't have anybody. Just throw it up and then go and catch it. Throw it up to yourself. Uh, I spent many hours in my youth doing this and it's a good way to practice pop-ups. Your throwing hand is there for a reason, to squeeze the glove and squeeze the baseball in. Just having it there is not sufficient. You've got to be, have it there and want to use it, just like that. It can also be used to shield your eyes from the sun uh, if you're playing on an especially sunny day or something like that. So, But having that throwing hand there to protect, keep the ball in, is what using two hands is all about. Now we're going to talk about fielding a basic ground ball in the outfield. As you can see right there, he didn't get his glove all the way down. We use this if a runner is, you know, we're playing left field, a runner is coming from first, rounding second. As you can see right there, he does much, much better. Uh, rounding second, going to third base, but not in a tremendous hurry. We use this fielding tactic then. We want to keep the ball in front, but we do want to be kind of in a hurry. Uh, this is not something where we're trying to throw a runner out because he's going for the extra base. This is not that, but we do need a little pep in our step. We can't just break down like we're going to talk about in a second. We also want to be working on good throws, as you're going to see right there where I can handle it. Um, so I want to highlight that. I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that. We want to be talking about and working on good throws. Back to the coach hitting our cutoff, as you're about to see here, where again, boom, perfect position where it should be. Those are the things we also want to be talking about. I charge it. I break down. I'm here. Boom. Come on, fire right as you're about to see, this can be a challenging drill. Um, you're going to see him struggle a little bit. There's a lot going on. You're trying to run up, then break down. When do you do it? How do you do it? But really, this drill is designed to be able to help a player keep the ball in front when absolutely necessary. So think late in the game, um, you know, you've got to keep the ball in front. No doubles. You want to make sure that this ball does not get by you. That's when you would want to use this. But you want to practice this. Again, this time he slides that knee out a little bit. Not where we want to be. I mean, keep your base wide. You kind of slid like this. I want you here. Keep it wide, okay? Because this move can be underutilized and so underpracticed a lot, and it can be challenging because there are a lot of things going on, we want to break it down. So I'm showing a drill right here where we can just walk and practice the movement with no ball involved. Um, and so you want to get your footwork right and start to practice. This is something that you can practice in your living room. A lot of catchers practice this kind of drop and block movement as well. Right? Kid smokes a hard ground ball through shorts out to third base. You're in left field. It's a single. All you're worried about doing is no rush. You're just worried about keeping it in front, keeping him at first. That's it, right? So no rush. That's what this play is for. I can't emphasize it enough. You want to be doing this when it's late in the games and you want to keep a player at that base and that ball has to stay in front of you. If not, if you're trying to throw him out, then you want to field it like a regular ground ball. And you'll see all that hard work right there. He does it perfectly. So um, that's why you put the hard work in, break it down, break down the different pieces of it, but know when to use these things also. And like I said, this is runner has to stay where he is and he's not necessarily rushing to get to the next base. Behind it, right? So we're here. As I'm moving forward, then I now back to pop-ups to work on getting behind the ball and a little sense of urgency. Field, gallon second base, base knock up the middle. You know, that's the tying run, that's the winning run, that's the go-ahead run, that's important. You got one shot, right? You're gonna run up, field it off to the side. So you, you wanna time your steps, right? Kinda shuffle, break down, left, left leg, off to the side. Field it here, coming up, ready to go. The pressure of the moment is already big enough. You want to slow it down, see the ball into your glove, come up, don't take too many extra steps, and start to throw the baseball. Here, right? We're coming here, we field it, we come up, we're shuffling, we're shuffling, we're shuffling. Uh -uh. 
You gotta get that thing clean and go. Okay? Position that glove. Position the glove so the thing rolls right up in it. Okay, coming down. Left leg plant up. One shuffle. Bang, going to home. Let it eat. Keep it low. Can't do nothing with it up here. Even if you're going for home, right, your first baseman or your third baseman, depending on whatever your coach has, should be there. If he's not, right, you're, you're playing center field, right over the pitcher's mound, okay? But you want to keep it low. Even if you're going, you know there's one play, I'm going for him at home, still no reason to airmail it. Nice and low, about head high. Maybe a little bit, maybe my head high. Okay, let that thing skip on the infield. Bang, catcher, he's out. Okay, airmail it, got no shot. Yeah. Keep that, I'd rather you ground it than go there. Because here you got a shot. Up there you got no shot. Yeah. Okay? Alright, let's go. Go four, 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 four. And he finally put it all together for a great finish. Off to the side, comes up, one shuffle, gather, and done.